Welcome to How to PG. Today, um, this video is about how to edit pictures. Once again, this can be very handy, and you may want to know. There's a there's a couple programs or software that let allow you to do this better than other programs. Now, today I'm going to let you know what's the best program to do this with and what is the best at exporting the image and what's the quickest and easiest right now first of all the first program I'm going to be telling you how to edit photos is going to be Adobe Photoshop Now Adobe Photoshop is made by people, um, some people called Adobe. Now they make various other programs. You can see that all down here. This is Photoshop. Now this program is very, very easy to. It's can be hard, but once you know it, once you know the like, once you know how to do things on this program, it can be very, very easy. Look at this image. You think that's never ever done on Photoshop? It's done on Photoshop. That's why they put it there. This is a great application. Great application. It has very, very, has a lot of features. And if you want to edit photos with quality, this is what you're looking for. This is exactly what you're looking for. I'm telling you. Look at that. It's amazing how much this program can do it's actually amazing now let us open photoshop now i'm going to show you i'm going to show you how to edit a photo okay Adobe Photoshop CS5 Extended Okay, just loading up But you see with programs like this you can just play around with this all day and You feel like you're a photo editor When you're really not You could go on YouTube Look for tutorials, they'll tell you how to do anything. Right, this is the interface. Got your swatches, colors here, your brushes here, your tools here. This is um, a cursor to move stuff around. This is your select. This is your lasso. Lasso tools select a certain, certain lines and certain outlines of an image. So if I had an image of a woman and a background and I want to cut out the woman, I would use the lasso, magnetic lasso. Magnetic lasso, you just hover around the woman's outline and it takes the woman out of the background and you can put her into another background. This is quick selection, a magic wand. It selects an area of an image quickly. Um, and you can delete or rub it out or edit it, brightness or whatever, quickly. Crop tool, you don't want to know about a crop tool. Slice tool, I'm not going to go too much into detail about the slice tool, because it's very complicated. Eyedropper, um, no, about the eyedropper. Select a color, select a color of an image, it will show up in here. You can fill other places of the image or patch place up with that same color. It's just a select color. These are ruler tools, count tools, easy to understand. Spot um spot patch healing brush, red eye tools. These tools are good to use as well. Brush tools, pencil tools. These these tools that you want to be best friends with. If your best friends are the brush tool and the pencil tool, you do well with Photoshop. Um this is the clone stamp. History brush tool. Eraser tools, fill, paint bucket tool, and gradient tool. 
I'm not going to go too much into these tools because this is not a Photoshop tutorial. You can look at these things on a Photoshop tutorial. Right. Now, say if I want to go to an image like, I don't know. Let's get this image up. This is an image. Now, I'm going to color this image, yeah? Change the zoom. It's a bit distorted, but you can still work with it. Even though it's distorted. Oops. Even though it's distorted, you can still work with it. See, but you get, you get, you get, look, see? See? You get my idea, you can color things in, you can crop things. Press carriage turn, cropped. You can edit brightness, image, adjustments, brightness and contrast. Edit brightness, edit contrast. Very easy to use, but the interface could sometimes be very, very, very hard. But once you know, and you're fluent with Photoshop, you'll be fluent with everything. Now, um, come on, this, now it's very simple. Um, easy program to edit photos with is um, Microsoft Picture Manager now you get this with Microsoft Office very simple very basic um, simple things here very easy easier than Photoshop but yet not as much features can be done with it all you got is brightness, contrast, color, crop, rotate and flip and red eye removal and resize and compress that is not enough but you get my idea you can correct things corrupt things if you really want to edit an image quickly this is your first result now they're the only two programs I really feel like showing you how to edit programs there's other there's paint I'm sure you know about paint I don't know I need to show you about paint. Paint is the most common program to edit images with. Most common program. It's not even editing images, it's making images and just you don't want to edit an image with this with paint. It's it's a lot like it's like Photoshop is paint and um Microsoft Office Picture Manager together and more. So yeah, that's what I wanna that's what I wanna say for you lot. Um thank you for watching and subscribe. Um subscribe for me please. Um because if you don't then no more videos will be carrying common because I'll think that you lot don't ain't watching it. I'll think that you lot don't want to sort of um listen to me. So comment, subscribe and tweet me. My Twitter is Paris Gash, P A R R I S G A C H, it's on the screen right now. Tweet me.